Hey guys, the biggest news for PewDiePie coming back to Magic, and it is a comeback because he has been playing Magic for a long time, regardless of what other people say. He is now a mythic status, and he has been playing since he was a young child. Is that we finally get memes. So, in case you don't know about the Magic community, memes are considered very dangerous, and people have been banned for life based on memes. Now, I'm going to tell you two stories. You can verify this is true, so just sit back and listen to these stories. One story involved a Magic Pro, Travis, starting a Facebook group called Facebook or Magic for Bad. Maybe it was called Magic for Worse. But then there was also some... No, I think it was called Magic for Bad because there was another group called Magic for Good. And it was a place just for memes to exist and be free and wild. Unfortunately, somebody had invited one Emma, a Emma who was... I, I refer to you to a Pojo article, Pojo, yes, that website, uh, dot com, that she wrote many years ago. Um, you, you can identify the article by the last name and tell this is the person that Wizard of Coast is promoting and riding off to the sunset. So uh, how did she get into from a nobody to a somebody to a everybody in the, the game of magic she did this by destroying a happy group of memers so these memers posted a meme about uh, how hot certain females were in the magic community you might think oh well of course emma had to tweet about it because she was clearly on this list and the answer was no she was not so this meme had, on its surface, nothing to do with her directly. Of course, it was tweeted out, um, and then we had a, another individual, uh, another very famous individual, who uh, tweeted the meme because she was on the list, and then everyone in the group got banned for six months, and then Travis, who was invited to the Pro Tour just that month, it got taken away from him, and there were some tax things, and of course. So memes are extremely dangerous in the Magic the Gathering community, but PewDiePie, I think he's just a combination of giant memes. He's great. His meme videos are some of the best videos on YouTube. Not just the best meme videos, the best videos on YouTube with million hundreds of millions if not billions of views on when you combine all his funny meme videos and in fact when he posted his first magic arena video many people thought that was a meme <laughs> and he wasn't actually playing mtg arena it was just a meme of some type that the teffy the uh, african-american wizard who is always angry all the time as displayed by wizards of the coast was um, became a giant meme, but no, he actually was playing MTG Arena. So PewDiePie is all about the memes. Magic the Gathering is hates memes and hates them so much that they had to ban one individual on Sleeve Media, Jeremy, who is now called the Quarterling, Quarterling, because he memed a Pepe the Frog once. And they didn't understand Pepe the Frog. They, I think the Pepe Frog comes from like a cartoon, like a children's cartoon. And they viewed Pepe the Frog as a, you know, a dangerous meme to Magic the Gathering community. And to stop this meme from spreading, they banned the guy for life. Now let me tell you some offenses that are not bannable life offenses when they first start off. You can cheat one time. You can cheat two times. You can get caught on camera five times. You can cheat a whole lifetime. And only after people finally get upset... Only after you write a heartfelt apology, which was not true as it turned out because he cheated a month later from that Facebook apology of how you changed and you're a different man now and, you know, the cheating wasn't your fault. It was always someone else's fault, which should have been a clear indicator that Alex should have been banned for life from that point on. But the MTG community, as Dumb as they are, they accepted this apology and said, yeah, congrats, and especially right Great job, Alex, you've changed. You're now a new person. 
And a month later, he gets cheated for a $20 <laughs> event. <laughs> I mean, uh, I would love to argue with someone that people can change because I doubt it. I highly doubt that. Um, and so what is more dangerous than a, a cheater who has won hundreds of thousands of dollars who's changed the outcome of multiple people's lives? What could be more dangerous than that? Maybe a, um, a domestic abuser? No, we don't ban the domestic abuser. In fact, we support that domestic abuser because that's what magic play, the magic community does. Uh, domestic and emotional abuser has now become a pro, like the most active feminist magic player in the history of our game. And what changed? I wonder. Or, or maybe um, predators who are judges. Maybe we should ban them. Uh, nope. We're going to let them play magic five years because it's not a danger to children, right? And then after we realize, uh oh, it is a danger, we'll write a legal, legally worded letter saying that we realize it was a slip through the system, but we're not attached to the judge system in any way, so don't sue us, please. All right, how about a dude? Let's call him, let's just give him a very vague name called Frank. And he goes GP to GP while dating the most famous magic female. Melissa, and he hits on teenagers and just any female, whether or not the female has a boyfriend or not. It doesn't preclude Frank's uh, algorithm, his automated chatting system. Would we want to ban this dude? No. So let's talk about the guy who did get banned. He just wanted to put down some funny Pepe mean frogs. And that was the evidence Wizard of the Coast used against him. When he asked them for evidence as to why he was banned, and more particularly why the account where he spent $10,000 plus was disabled, Wizard of the Coast gave him a screenshot of Pepe the Frog. <laughs> that was their core evidence as to the, quote, harassment. Uh, many people felt so offended by the Pepe the Frog <laughs> that we had to ban him, and there was no more Pepe the Frogs in Magic. And I'm, I'm serious. There is none. People at some time were really afraid. Um, they were afraid to join this Magic for Bad group because they realized, uh-oh, Emma has the whole list of everybody, uh, their real names. It's not like she was doxing people, God forbid. It's not like Wizard of the Coast was doxing people with their full names and addresses, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, it's not like that. Um, so... PewDiePie is very famous for memes. I hope one of the things that returns to our great game is the meme. The meme is now extinct. It is dead. And I've been trying to make memes all the time now on my Twitter. Uh, another very good example of a funny meme was the guy, the butt crack guy on BuzzFeed. Uh, you can read the article. It's hilarious. The guy goes to a GP Richmond, a magic event, and he takes pictures of him with butt cracks. Because what magic event would be complete without butt cracks? Also notice there were no women in the magic events. So that, that's either good for women or bad for women that they're not the events. I don't know. It's probably good. Because we didn't see any uh, butt cracks from female magic players. Because we didn't see any female magic players. Which is probably positive nonetheless. So he took a picture of a bunch of butt cracks, it went viral, and Wizard of Coast had to ban him for, I think, six months, eight months, some amount of time. So that meme, you know, which is now a meme, uh, that actually did not work. Um, he got banned. So essentially, if anyone's going to make a meme, the potential of being banned is very high. If the meme involves butt cracks or pepes or, you know, just general hot or not, then you will absolutely be banned. So let's see what happens with PewDiePie. Let's see what happens with Felix. Because I'm sure Felix is thinking of all these great memes. Uh, we have the angry white man meme. The angry white woman meme. Um, we have lots of really interesting memes that can be created. And the reason our community is not jumping on this is everyone's so afraid of being banned. Like, when's the last time you saw a really funny magic meme? Remember the channel where Athena, so Athena is like the worst Wizard of the Coast employee in my opinion. And it's always like, you know, she doesn't like Jeff Hoogland. She doesn't like Unsleeved. I'm sure she doesn't like me. 
So he's married to Ephra, who we know has banned people for being mean to him at FNM from the store because people didn't respect him. The same Ephra who uh, expects you to quit. He expects you to just give up against him because he's a famous magic player and you're a loser. And if you want a favor from him in the past or not for him to revenge you, then you must lose to him. Otherwise, he'll feel bad and then he'll get you for the rest of your life. Same Efro, dude. And he wrote an article saying that with pride, of course, that when you play Efro, you should just be so humble that you had the opportunity to play him. You should just you should just give him the game. Yep, uh, same dude. Uh, and she created a meme, a magic meme group, which then she collected everyone's name and banned them. This is a Wizard of Coast employee. So people were banned for memes. A Wizard of Coast employee creates a magic meme group where people could put their memes there. And then she would ban them for their memes that she encouraged them to put. And then that was the death of the meme. Like Magic the Gathering. I have not seen one good Magic Gathering meme for a long time. Just because like anything that's slightly funny will get you a six month ban. Anything that is slightly offensive will get you banned for life. I mean, how many games will take away, let's say like you spend $20,000 on a digital magic account. They don't tell you, they just take away your account, which is money, right? That's not only the time you spent, but actually the physical money, which he did get via chargeback. And then they ban you from any magic tournaments. Um, they ban you from any competitive magic. You can't even go at pre-release without getting the store banned. Everyone in the store will get banned if you go. And it's just like this humble dude from Wisconsin with a beard. And he just wanted to tweet a Pepe meme. And that was it. And they got him for life. It was just a group of people who were playing hot or not. You know, Facebook, before it became Facebook, was hot or not. So should we ban Mark Zuckerberg from Magic? Because it seems like at least this is a one-time deal, right? Mark Zuckerberg's entire website was based on hot or not. You know, when you rank someone is, you know, click the button hot or not. And then eventually it became like you could give them a rating, a ranking. I remember that. But is Mark Zuckerberg sexist? Is he kind of like a mean dude? So did, did he mean too hard? Or the butt crack guy? What's wrong with that? I mean, he didn't show their faces. It was just kind of funny. I mean, it's something that everyone does. I think even the people who... I had their pictures taken, weren't really embarrassed, as Wizard of the Coast said, I think they would have just admit that it's kind of funny, right? Like, you should probably wear belts. And after that incident, the number of belts, the percentage of people who wore belts increased drastically. And we have the butt crack guy to thank for that, right? Like, otherwise, we would be looking at butt cracks 24-7 in Magic events. Now, at least there is the shaming element the quote shaming element of the butt cracks being posted on buzzfeed for what two million people to look at yeah i mean i guarantee you, you don't want to be one of those people actually i'm going to google how many people have looked at the butt crack i bet you it's a ton last time i looked at it, it was over a million butt crack mtg buzzfeed what do you guys think five million yeah it's kind of embarrassing oh mad man goes to magic gathering tournament poses next to butt crack <laughs> Yeah, oh, uh, hilarious. Let's see how many views. Um, it's on fire still, and it's it was published in 2014. View, okay, I can't see, I can't see the views. Millions, hundreds of millions. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Man, oh man, that was a lot of views. Um, they put it on Laugh Out Loud and Badass. Yep, they put it on Badass. I don't know anything about this game, but I know this guy deserves to be the master champion, says Logan Rhodes, who's a writer of this article. Magic the Gathering is a trading card with more than 12 million players worldwide. This past weekend, at one of the biggest MTG tournaments, one man decided to capture the true spirit of the games by expertly posing near players with exposed butt cracks. Why? Because it is hilarious. Man, these pictures are hilarious. Like, why would we need to ban this guy? We should encourage him to take more pictures of butt cracks. 
Like, I don't get it. Like, we got on BuzzFeed. It was really funny. People now know about magic, and they think it's a plumber's convention. Why wouldn't we pay him to do this more? And I would say this. If you're ashamed that you're on BuzzFeed and 10 million people have looked at your butt crack, that should be positive reinforcement that you should buy a belt. I mean, how ex- a belt is what? Five, ten dollars $10? Like, that's a path to exile card, and that's an uncommon. That's like an eternal witness. Like, you know what? I'm going to open. I'm going to go to a GP. I'm going to go to a vendor spot. And at that vendor spot, I'm, not, I'm going to do trades. And what I'm going to give you is I'm going to give you a belt, deodorant, toothpaste, and then uh, Old Spice. And you would trade your magic cards for belts or one of these four items. I bet you it would go like really well. I'm positive. But then they would ban me, right? Because they would ban me for memes. Because I would be there just to get that meme picture. But memes is the most dangerous thing in magic. Um, people have been banned for life. It's okay to have cheaters who cheat hundreds of thousands of dollars in magic cards. Uh, we might even want to vote them in the Hall of Fame, depending on what Wizards of the Coast employees you talk to. But it is not okay to have funny memes that we can all share and laugh at. Like, it's not okay to have frog memes or butt crack memes or hot or not memes because they are so offensive. PewDiePie, you need to save us. And you, you need to just make magic memes. Even one magic meme would be amazing. Like, it would just be the best. Because at that point, what can Wizard Coast do? What can Wizard... Wizard Coast would be so foolish to ban him, and the retribution would be so massive that they would not even be stupid enough to do that. And in many, in my eyes, they have done very, very dumb stuff before. The whole uh, butt crack incident was something they should be proud. I mean, you made hundreds of thousands, millions, tens of millions of people have seen this. Now, people who don't know the game believe he should be the master of the game and he should be because he's a butt crack dude all right uh if you are interested in me getting revenge uh sweet sweet regret regret ah so interested in the butt cracks i'm looking at these pictures and they're so attractive um if you're interested in me getting sweet revenge against the people who have spited me in houston in real life then please subscribe to this channel I would like to get to 10,000 subscribers, and uh, at that point, I'll give you whatever you guys want. Uh, foil Liliana's gone, but that does not mean I don't have other better foils to give away. Should we hit that 10,000 mark? Hi, guys.